Hello guys, I'm Amit. Couple of days ago on one of my video of how to remember the sections for TDS, one of my subscribers commented, is there any tricks for Information Technology app? Well, I did have some tricks on by which I remember the sections. I used to understand the concept of each and every section and relate it and group it. And that's the, how I used to remember it. So I am making this video and sharing that trick with you all. And one of the things which I would like to share is on some of the tricks, on some of the sections, I was not able to figure out anything, any logic. So I used some of the tricks given by uh, some of the private tutors or well, faculties in that field. But I would like to tell you that I am not promoting that and I am not saying they are good. Either, and also I am not saying they are bad because I did my schooling or my uh, learning by myself. I did self-study for that subject. So I cannot comment on them. So with that disclaimer, let's start. Part 2 Now we are going to talk about records and signature. Record is always electronic record. Signature, digital signature or electronic signature that we will see. And the, okay, so first record. Section 3, it will start from section 3, record. Authentication of electronic record. But in reality, it is not talking about electronic record. What it deals with, how we are going to authenticate the electronic record. That is digital signature. Why are digital signature? And they are saying what is hash value and all that. So section 3 is for authentication of electronic record. Four, if you are saying that authenticate, or something will be authenticated, right? Electronic record. But where is the legal recognition? That is section 4. Section 4 is dealing with legal recognition of electronic record. LR means legal recognition. So, legal recognition of electronic record. Now, 3 plus 4 is 7. That is retention of electronic record. Okay, 3 for authentication, 4 for legal recognition, 7 for retention. 3 plus 4 is 7, retention. Now, think of that. What does an auditor do? Auditor goes and checks the record, right? So, when A of audit enters to the retention area to check the document, we get section 7A. And that is audit of documents or etc maintained in any form so 3 is for authentication 4 is for legal recognition 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 retention an auditor enters into retention area 7a section 7a comes that is audit of documents signature signature starts with 3a while record was starting with 3 signature starts with 3a that is electronic signature and then 5 legal recognition of electronic signature 4 was for legal recognition of electronic records 5, 2 is a 10. There are two sections, 5 and 3. So, 5, 2 is a 10. That is 10. Section number 10. That is power to make rules by CG in respect of electronic signature. Mind it, it is just for electronic signature, not for record. Power to make rules by CG in respect of electronic signature. Now, uh, 4 is saying legal recognition of electronic record. 5 is legal recognition of electronic signature. So, what? So the next question, the next section, 4, 5 and the 6th one. 6th section is dealing with the government. The government must use them. So, use of electronic record and electronic signature in government and in agency. That is section 6. Section 7 is missing. Section 8 is publication of rules and regulation in e-gazette. 6. E-records, e-signature must be used. 8. E-gazette must be uh, used to publish all the rules and regulations. Now, 9. What is 9 is saying that? Of course, we have the power to do the, to use e-records and e-signature. We have the power to use e-gazette. But that doesn't mean that people must insist on the government to accept the e-forms. So we have nine. No right to confer to insist. Documents should be accepted in e-form. So it is like, you know, a kind of protective section. But okay, you can do it, but that doesn't mean that you have to insist upon us. So, quick recap, records, signature and government, record, 3, authentication, 4, legal recognition, 3 plus 4, 7, that is retention, then auditor A goes to the retention area of 7, that is 7A, audit of document, then signature, 3A is for electronic signature, electronic, not digital, electronic, 5 is for legal recognition of electronic signature, 5 to the 10, 10 is the power of CG to make electronic, to make rules in respect of electronic signature. For government, 4 was for legal recognition of records, 5 is for electronic signature and 6 is saying that use of e-records and electronic signature in government and agency 
8 for e gazette, but 9 is saying that doesn't mean you have the right to confer. So, in this document should be accepted in this form. On the one. I guess that's part 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like it, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. Happy reading, all the best, and thank you. AB out.